EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Chargers and the New Orleans Saints. materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. the gun and Herbert. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they go. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Chargers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. The try here for the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7 0 lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On third down, Winston. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. This seems pretty important early, doesn't it? That their 
ability to pick up that first down on third down. I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going down. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot in the field where you take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs, but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Winston from the gun on third down. There's Chris Olave. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 40. Washington now out of the gun. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. to throw Winston. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Winston now. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 23. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. and be backed up to the 24. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Right back to Washington. And able to work his way down to the 16. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll run. It's Washington. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. He only needed a yard but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Dancing to his left. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they'll be stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. Play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw here. Herbert buying time to his left. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. To throw again on second down. Herbert. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident his ability to kick that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a lot of separation there. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. 
And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 28. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. On first down, Justin Herbert. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A very solid gain of 27. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. That's caught inside the 10. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this goal around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Jameis to throw it. To the right side, incomplete to Washington. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Winston. And he'll get it right back to Washington. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Winston to throw for it on four. Finding Taysom Hill complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go until halftime. First down, Winston. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. The first half is winding down, and the Saints are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room and start with it. They got it here. Time to speak. 
speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now he'll escape to his right. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson and Debo. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 44 yards out, left hash. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. you back now alongside Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here the Saints going to go on offense first and they trail here as we begin quarter number three they'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. On second down, Washington. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Here's Winston. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They run from the shotgun with Washington. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Now Winston. And going deep for Hill. And this is taken in at the five. A big time play there for New Orleans. 62 yards. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And from what we said, if you had told me that that ball was somehow going to get from point A to point B, I would have told you no way. I mean, that was an absolute cannon shot, and he still dropped it right on the money, too. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. They'll try again. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Dwayne Washington punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. gives him a three-point After 
the touchdown. Lutz to kick it off. From his end zone, here comes Carter. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Charger drive about to get going. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. On second down, Eckler. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard of the pick up there. And he'll leave him on third and three. After they're looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third down now. On the screen, this is Eckler. And some space here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Herbert. Saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They'll start the drive with Washington. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Staying on the ground with Washington. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun, Winston. That's caught by Marquez Callaway. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Back now here live in New Orleans. to the 34 good enough for the first the fourth down run successful now they look to pay it off on first down now a run up the middle with washington two yards the loss second and 12. run blitz there defensively something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter i think we'll see a lot of it and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz Pass blitz, you're trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The Saints on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third down and 12. Now, Winston. Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Here comes the Saints punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. On the return, Carter. 56 yards the punt that time, 12 on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. On 
first down, it's Herbert. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. They'll get this up to about the 44. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw, Winston. Under pressure, and down he goes. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Now, that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. The pass caught by Alave. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. The Charger drive about to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He's unable to complete it there. And he's just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the line start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now Herbert. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Herbert to throw. Open man is Palmer. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit, because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Herbert. What a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. 